Hello, fellow ocean enthusiasts. Welcome to Secrets of the Seahorse, where we dive into the mesmerizing world of these enchanting marine creatures. In this video, we are going to look at the anatomy and unique features of seahorse, how many times they eat, how they produce babies and why they fight with each other. So, grab your virtual scuba gear and let's embark on this watery adventure. Seahorses have a unique body structure. It is characterized by a long, slender trunk and a curled, prehensile tail. The trunk is covered by bony plates, giving the seahorse its characteristic armored appearance. The head of a seahorse is similar to a horse, with a prolonged snout. The mouth of a seahorse is present at the end of its snout and is specialized for sucking in food. The seahorses use their snout for hunting. Their mouth and snout creates a vacuum to suck in small prey, such as tiny crustaceans and plankton. Seahorses are similar to fish and breed through gills. The gills are located on the back of the head and the gills are covered by a protective bony plate. The gills extract oxygen from the water and discards carbon dioxide. Unlike fishes, seahorses don't have scales. They have exoskeleton and their bodies are made up of bony plates arranged in the form of rings throughout their body. Seahorses are mostly found in shallower areas of tropical seas or oceans. They usually live in coral reefs, seagrass beds or mangrove roots. The average size of seahorses ranges between 1.5 cm and 35 cm. Seahorses have three types of fins. Dorsal fin, pectoral fin and anal fin. Seahorses have one small dorsal fin which is located on their back. Dorsal fin is used for stability while swimming as seahorses are not great swimmers. Pectoral fins are small, wing-like fins that are present on either side of the body. Pectoral fins are used for steering and maintaining balance. Anal fin is located on the underside or belly area and is used to maintain upright position. Seahorses usually swim upright and not horizontally. A remarkable feature of a seahorse is its prehensile tail meaning the tail can grip objects similar to our hands. Its tail is flexible, muscular and can be used to anchor the seahorse to any of the objects like seagrasses or coral. Seahorse tail is unique because a cross section of its tail would like a square prism rather than the usual cylinder. An interesting aspect about seahorses is that their eyes move independently of each other. This provides them with a wide field of vision which enables them to spot potential prey and predators. Similar to fishes, seahorses don't have eyelids. So they sleep or take rest with their eyes wide open. We usually eat food three to five times a day. Do you know how many times a seahorse eats in a day? Seahorses eat all the time. They neither have teeth nor a stomach. Their digestive system is ineffective and digests the food very quickly. So they eat at least 30 to 50 times a day. That's a lot, right? They eat shrimp and plankton. In most of the animals, usually the females have the babies. In seahorses, it's the male seahorses that have the babies. Seahorses engage in elaborate courtship rituals involving dancing, color changes, and intricate displays. Male seahorses have a pouch in their belly and female seahorses deposit their eggs into the pouch. During mating, a female seahorse might deposit up to 1500 eggs into male seahorse pouch. Male seahorses carry those eggs for 9 to 45 days until they hatch and baby seahorses arrive. A male seahorse might give birth to an average of 100 to 1000 baby seahorses at a time. Both the male and female seahorses don't care for their baby seahorses. The baby seahorses have to look after themselves. Of the hundreds of baby seahorses that are born, only one or two will survive and become an adult seahorse. Rest of the baby seahorses will become prey to other animals. Seahorses can change colors quickly using their skin pigment cells. This ability helps them to change their color to the same color of their environments making them masters of disguise. One surprising fact about seahorses is that sometimes the male seahorses fight with each other to get female seahorse attention. That's silly, right? As much as we marvel at these creatures, seahorses face numerous threats. 
Habitat destruction, overfishing, climate change and the aquarium trade are some of the reasons that have led to their declining populations. It's crucial for us to understand the importance of conserving their habitats and protecting these underwater wonders. As our underwater adventure comes to an end, I hope you've gained a newfound appreciation for the secrets of the seahorse. This is Fun Facts for Kids where fun facts fuel imagination. Until next time, happy exploring!